Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, for I have a tale to tell. A tale not of heroes or villains, but of the inexorable laws that govern us all. Time and tide wait for no man, so said Geoffrey Chaucer. But what he didn't say is that time itself is a tide, a relentless flow towards a dark and unfathomable sea. We live in the shadow of a cosmic clock, its hands moved not by gears or springs, but by the chilling concept of entropy, the measure of disorder, the harbinger of decay. It is the ghostly specter that haunts the corridors of existence, whispering that all things must crumble, all order must dissolve. As the poet W.B. Yeats lamented, things fall apart, the center cannot hold. You see, the universe began as a singularity of unimaginable density and order, a point of low entropy. From that moment, the arrow of time was knocked and loosed, flying unerringly towards a target of cosmic dissolution. The energy of the universe is constant, declared Rudolf Clausius, but the entropy of the universe tends to a maximum. In simpler terms, we are all riding a one-way train to oblivion. Life is but a brief rebellion against this cosmic law, a fleeting eddy in the river of time. We capture the low entropy energy of the sun, using it to build and grow, to love and dream. But make no mistake, each heartbeat, each thought, each whispered word only serves to hasten the universe's march towards its own demise. The stars themselves are not exempt from this cruel fate. They burn bright, but in doing so, they too contribute to the universe's ever-increasing entropy. And when the stars have all burnt out, when the galaxies have drifted into the cold and endless dark, what then? The heat death awaits, a universe so entropic that it has become a barren wasteland, devoid of structure, of life, of hope. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me, wrote Emily Dickinson. But what if death itself could not stop? What if the arrow of time, once loosed, could never be reclaimed, leading us all towards a future where even death shall die? So let us not be lulled into complacency by the illusion of permanence. Let us instead live with the full knowledge that our time is borrowed, that each moment is a precious gift never to be regained. For in the grand tapestry of the cosmos we are but transient threads, destined to fray and fade away.